Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Star Wars Empire Dwarf Thrawn's Revenge. So, uh, we're still playing as a Pentastar alignment. Uh, we're still kicking Imperial butt across the galaxy. Um, and I'm coming back to this after about a week off because of illness. So, what the hell were we doing? We were invading all these planets, weren't we? And, oh yeah, Zinge had been building nothing but ground... Like, there was nothing but barracks on Tellius and Eti-4. And I'm pretty certain Bonadon had nothing but barracks as well. So, those were proving to be fairly sloggy ground battles. And I think on this flank, we've got the Emperor trapped on Mirkir, as I remember. Because we can't invade that planet, it crashes the game, and he's just kind of chilling out there, so the Emperor Reborn can just stay chilling out there, I guess. And I think we were going to actually take Bill Bringy, weren't we? Yeah, I was going to bring this fleet over from Livian 2. So this planet does have... got ground troops building up, we've already got our hypervelocity cannon, and we've got Golem 1s, and we're going to work on Golem 2s. Okay, that's good. Right, in that case... Yeah, let's uh, let's get a start with a ground invasion. I'm gonna actually go for Essien first. One, because it's got that symbol, which might mean there's something special there, and also because it's just gonna be an easier invasion. So let's Tactical grab the ground. Okay, let's not grab the ground forces. Let's defend at Ord Mantel instead. Uh, another Imperial fleet is attacking Ord Mantel. This one not full of star destroyers. Okay, fair enough. Uh, begin the battle. Man, the Imperial Remnant is just throwing ship after ship after ship at Old Mantel, and they cannot break through. Our hypervelocity cannons on the surface just wreck everything they send. Although, interestingly, this is going to be a bunch of smaller ships, so, you know, more targets. We're going to be over... Our firepower will be too great for one single ship. It's going to take us longer to kill all these individual ships, rather than one or two big ships. Yeah, maybe this is the way to go to do with hypervelocity cannons. You want lots of little craft. Okay. Uh, let's get our sensor data and let's wait for all my fighters to launch. We'll gather everyone up around here and Enemy then we we'll just chill out ahead. around there. Oh god, they're coming in fast. Okay, right. All fighters, please assemble here. You can defend that forward golem platform. So what are we looking at? Strike cruisers, Carracks, a Lancer, and a Carrier. The strike cruisers are by far the biggest threat, so... Let's start working you down. Now this is going to be total overkill. Ash, well, okay, not total overkill. Strike cruisers are pretty tough, I guess. That took nine of, the, I believe, ten shots that the hypervelocity cannon fires to destroy one ship. So that's not too bad. It takes two of those shots to kill a star destroyer. So these are forty percent the strength of a star destroyer, I guess. Uh, they're also a bit faster. Please note. So they are coming on to us uh, a lot faster. What's happening over here? God. Okay, yeah, murder all that stuff for me, please. Uh, and murder all that stuff for me, please. It's only tie interceptors. We don't really care about tie interceptors, but we'll start picking them off if we can. So yeah, we're going to need more shots to actually sh take out their strike force, and their strike force is actually moving a lot faster. Uh, let's still stick with taking out you guys. I mean, Carrick's are good at taking out shields, but the strike cruiser is going to be the ones to do the most of the damage. And we've destroyed 50% of them already, which is good. Uh, right, you guys... Bombers? Ah, bombers, there we go. Take out those bombers for me, please. I'm on them. I don't actually know if ion missiles do any damage. Yeah, not sure. Oh god, wow, yep, there's the fire. Now that lance is going to start wrecking our stuff for us, which is going to be a problem. In fact, let's, yeah, let's get the fighters away from that. Let's pull back away from that lancer. Because, yeah, we're already, already starting to pop all over the place. Uh, I kind of—I'm tempted to start targeting the lancers, uh, the carracks at the front, but I think we're better off taking out the strike cruisers because they just—they got the better guns, like more powerful ships. We might be able to handle this, actually. Okay, what is happening back here? Fighters, right? Kill these fighters for me, for the love of God. Okay, you focus down this guy for me. Yeah, carracks don't have great shields. Do I have any bombs? Uh, go after that one, please. Ooh, they're trying to go straight past our uh, defences here. Ooh, interesting. Okay, all fighters just engage that target. All that target, sorry. Which one? I don't know who we're targeting. You're targeting that. That's kind of fine. Your shield's about to go. That carrier's about to die. Hypervelocity cannon will take out that strike cruiser momentarily. Yeah, you're going down, you're having a bad day, you're dead, the carrier's dead. Okay, no, we're doing okay here. We did almost lose the shields on this, though. I mean, without the high-velocity cannon, I think we probably would have lost this fight. That was probably enough small ships to take out. 
That's probably enough small ships to actually take out two golem platforms. Alright, just hunt and destroy all these guys. Take out that carrot for me. Actually, if you could focus on that Lancer so it stops killing my uh, fighters, that would be great. Thank you. And now we will finish this guy off. Take out the engine so they can't escape. Good. TIE Fighters are taking out some bombers. Uh, I don't have anything left to shoot the hypervelocity cannon at, though. Unfortunately. It can't target fighters. Which kind of makes sense. We did, I don't actually think we lost any systems, although they have been targeting the shield generator. Almost managed to destroy the shield generator on this thing. That's uncommonly smart for the AI to actually target that. Yeah, okay. Normally they don't really pick like vital SIP systems to destroy. Because you want to take out the shield generator first so it stops regenerating shields during the battle. And then you want to take out the engine so it can't escape and you can get away from it if you need to. There's like a, there's a whole bunch of reasons behind that stuff. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, I was trying to move this fleet order. over here. You'll move to Essien. We'll Reporting. actually move that IPV back to this fleet here so they've got more fighter defences. Because I did kind of strip Location that confirmed. fleet of fighter defences for the purposes of leaving garrisons behind. So let's land on Essien and begin the ground invasion. Commencing. They do have troops defending, but they've only got two possible building slots. I mean, they could both be barracks, but hopefully it's just not going to be the kind of, like, we're fighting an uphill battle, trying to climb a waterfall of stormtroopers or whatever the hell they are. I mean, we, they've been spawning, like, 12 squads at a time when they've got that many barracks. It's kind of a bit insane. Especially as, as it's an unending stream, and it doesn't cost the enemy anything. It, yeah, the reinforcement mechanics in this game or as the garrison mechanics in this game are really weird sometimes. Not a huge fan of them. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, now I am expecting lots of infantry, as always, so let's grab you and you and I guess more of you. That should allow us to work for the time being. Why do I have a great big square thing on my screen? Oh, okay, there we go. It went away. No, now it's back. Okay. Is that a weird shadow from something? Is that meant to be... I don't know what that is. That's kind of weird. But it will go away which would be nice. Yeah, it's like a negative shadow. Look at the shadows there. That's weird. Okay. Um, I have no idea where I need to go. I don't actually recognize this map at all. What we got? Landing pad over there, landing pad there. So four landing pads down. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just go straight north. Looks like we can. It's kind of hard to see with this giant thing and now a tinier thing. I don't understand what's happening here, but that's fine. I guess I don't need to understand to actually just slaughter all enemies of the pentastar alignment, On my so way. you guys start heading off that way. We're just gonna have to deal with the weird box. Scanning area. Uh no sign of bad guys. Let's speed up time a bit moving and start to moving. Secondary position. Support order acknowledged. We'll back you up. Okay, looks like we're going to be completely unopposed in taking this. That's fine. We've secured a landing zone. Uh, I think more... No, we've only got... Actually, this one's only worth two points. What do we want? More artillery, more anti-armor, or do we want the lats? I'm going to get the lats, because they're nice and fast. Uh, if I can actually find a place to drop oh, them. Oh, yeah. And I'm kind of tempted by the tracker. Because... Oh, sorry, the floating fortress. It's a new public that gets the tracker. Floating fortress would be nice, because that gives us line of sight. But I think more artillery would probably work out quite well. Okay, let's move on and take the next one. Providing There's backup. our old friend back. Is it worth... I'm actually going to capture these and build some stuff Turret here. Just in case any bad guys start coming around behind us. Construction Can I get some complete. infantry close enough to that, please? Bombing run available. I mean, bombing run would be Turret great, but I don't have any targets, because I don't know where any bad guys are. Construction complete. Currently, my mortal enemy is a giant shadow box, which is a bit weird, but honestly, the Empire is probably... Fort weird we things. Zone. Uh, I guess I'll bring in some more of you guys. Actually, I'm going to bring you... Okay, we've probably got enough points. I can bring that in as well now. I don't know what I need. I just know that right now I don't know where the hell I'm going to be going. Right. Mark. Okay, no bad guys there. More floating shadow boxes, though. That's always good. Uh, all forces just move over here. Where have all the bad guys gone? T2B over. We've located Ooh, the enemy. Hello. 
Aha! They have two barracks and they're right next to each other. Okay. Well, I've got a bombardment and a bombing run. So, if I do... Why can't I... Why can't I do the thing now? I just did the thing. Why can't I do the thing anymore? Okay. And then... Bombing run. Initiate and attack then, run. Oh. Damn it, that thing times out really quickly. Uh, the bombers Initiate will give me line of sight run. though as they come over, so let's try a bombardment after this. Target locked. Come on, lads. There we go. Ooh, wow, engaged. directly on top of that shot. One barracks is down. That was a pretty good hit on that squad. That actually wiped that squad out and destroyed Okay, yeah. Once we found the enemy, it proved not to be a problem. It was just finding them that was slightly difficult. They're hiding in the shadows. Okay, Essien is IPV not reporting. mine. What? Hang on. What did I just invade then? No, I'm pretty certain I just invaded this planet. Reporting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty certain that planet's mine. Do I need to do this again? Am I not allowed to invade Essien? What's happening here? Why am I reinvading a planet I just invaded? Did I not kill all the people? I'm pretty certain I killed all the people. It looked like a lot of dead people down there, I've got to be honest. Okay. Well, this actually is a bit easier now, because I kind of know... Also, it's daytime. That actually helps. The, the There's less, there's fewer shadows. And I've still got the turrets here. What? Hang on. So we've got the turrets we built last time. But we didn't take the planet. Choose your reinforcements. Okay. Inputting coordinates. On my way. Well, I think I know where their base is, so I'm just going to head over there and kill everything again, is kind of my plan. I don't even know if they they must have something defending, otherwise the game would have given us the victory by now, so... Hmm. Okay, we'll just move over there. There they are! Blast them! Oh! Right, okay, right, they, they don't have any structures, so we've gained full line of sight of the map. Apart from... They have control of an abandoned heavy factory. How is it abandoned if they control it? I'm confused. I'm a little bit angry. Oh, there's a sensor station down there. Okay, that's good to remember. That'll come in handy. Uh, I guess I need to go here, then. And capture the thing that's abandoned. That makes perfect sense. Okay, let's go... Let's go do that. Let's grab everyone. And they can all head over here. And everything will be fine. I don't think everything's going to be fine. I think I think this is probably going to bug out again. And we're going to end up not being able to take this planet. So we might have to leave just a ship in orbit again. Also? On the move. Okay. I was going to say, the game is very quiet. Normally it's a lot more shooting. It feels like the game is being very quiet right now. Uh, you know what? Turret constructed. Let's build some more turrets around the place. Right just in you. case. Construction complete. I, I don't know why. Maybe I can just make my claim on, to this, this planet way. by putting turrets everywhere? Construction complete. Okay, I don't know how it's an abandoned heavy structure if it's not abandoned. But it is now definitely dead. Lead the way. We'll so that's out. something. Um, I am noticing that the game has not ended, which All is kind of a problem. I think this might be bugged out. Scouting. If the giant floating shadow box wasn't Proceeding. kind of giving that away. I mean, they don't have any more bad guys for me to kill. We secured a landing zone. Unless there's someone hiding down here, like behind the buildings or something. I don't know. Come over here and capture Bombing this for me. Run available. Bombing run would be great, but I don't actually have anyone to bomb. Is kind of the problem. We've captured an abandoned sensor array. Okay. Maybe if I capture Bombing everything out. on the map, would that work? We secured a landing zone. Okay. Right, let's try and capture everything on the map. So just, th there's no bad guys. There's no markers on the map that show me where bad guys are. Because we kind of killed them last time, you know? I was very adamant about the whole we blew them apart. And I can see the whole map twice over, because I have the sensor station and I, and they have no buildings, so I have full line of sight. So no one could be hiding anywhere. Okay, so let's just capture all the things. Right away, sir. Okay. And capture up here. Available. Again, bombardments would be very useful, but I have nothing to blow up, so... We 
We've secured a landing zone. Okay. Well, yeah, this right is away. looking a little buggy, to isn't that area, it? Sir. Scousing area. We kind of might need to retreat, I'm thinking. Because I don't think Heading I can take out. this planet, because for some reason, despite the fact that no one lives here, I'm not allowed to own it. The game just saying, no, I'm not allowed it, is what's happening here. Fallout troops. Just, just double check up here, there is... There's my, why can't I move? What? Oh, that's weird. I can't actually get into this area? Oh no, I can, just not through the middle of it. Okay. Let's move out. Well, there's there's no bad guys for me to fight, and I have destroyed all land forces and structures. But it's not going to give me the victory, so we're just going to have to retreat and... Uh, reinforcements. Unfortunately, not be able to claim this planet. Unless maybe I auto-resolve. Hmm. Okay, normally you want to re avoid auto-resolve like the plague, because it will just kill so many of your units. But we're pretty well off at the moment. My army's looking pretty good. I've got plenty of troops. Even if we lose a bunch, it shouldn't be bad. And technically there's nothing here to make me lose troops. So I'm going to try it. This might incur some casualties, but let's see what happens. Wait. Oh wow, even auto is always broken. Okay, okay, just, just retreat! Get get the hell off this planet! Uh, okay, we took no losses, they took no losses because they have nothing to lose. And I guess we're just gonna grab that IPV back because I can't do anything with this planet. Um, oh god damn it, Way Ooh, Wayland. Oh, okay, who's attacking over Wayland? The New Republic feet! Oh god, that's the Lusanka. That's Wedge Antilles and Booster Terek attacking. That's kind of. Bad? I mean, I've got a level 1 space station, two golem platforms, and two hyperflosty cannons. That actually could work out in our favour. I think the New Republic might have made a mistake here. So, Wedge Antilles is currently General Wedge Antilles, and he's piloting the Lusanka. Now, you might remember that we blew up the Lusanka when we killed um, Yuzay Nizard, but hey, it's back. I guess they repaired it, even though it was in pieces, and I owned the pieces. But anyway, they've now got it. So Wedge Antilles is flying around in a Super Star Destroyer for reasons. And hello! Yes, there you are. Now, you've only come in with those two ships, so that's not a great move, I've got to be honest. Um, we don't have huge defences here, but we can probably make this work. Can I actually see stuff to shoot it, please? That'd be lovely. Okay, so you've got a bunch of fighters coming in. The enemy is approaching! Uh, oh, and Booster Terek is bringing in his... Uh, what is this ship called? It's basically his own private Star Trek, the Errant Venture. Um, as you can tell by the fact it's missing tons of weapons, it's not in the best condition. So, let's let's find out how well maintained it is. Because I'm just going to blow the damn thing up. That was pretty bad, you've lost your engines. Okay, uh, you're now a mu I mean, you've, you didn't have very many guns to start with. Now you've, you've got, you literally have three guns remaining, a heavy iron cannon, a turbo laser battery and a heavy turbo laser. You still have your hangar and your shields, but one more shot will more than kill you. Okay, I need to switch fire over to this anchor. Hyper velocity gun. Available. And thankfully, because we have two hyper velocity guns on the surface, this thing reloads really fast. Now it's going to take about 20 shots to do this, so I'm not actually sure we can do it. But they are going to have to fight through a lot of my defenses to get here. I'm going to have to try and keep some of these fighters off us though, because that's going to be a problem. We might still lose this, because, honestly, it's a Super Star Destroyer. It's got a lot of hard points I've got to blow up for this to actually work. I also might want to get my fighters onto that sooner rather than later. Although I kind of want to keep their fighters off me, which would be nice. We can definitely kill Booster for this end, though, as long as I pay attention to what's actually happening. Man, they've got E-Wings, B-Wings, Y-Wings coming in. And I've got to remember to keep shooting this damn thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're slowly pecking this thing to pieces. It's just if I can actually keep anything alive long enough. I'm gonna give it one more shot, and then I'm gonna finish off booster. I think. Problem is, we're doing a lot of damage, but we're not actually damaging the shields at all. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough to finish you off. Uh, you know what? All fighters, actually fighters, do extra damage to these. 
Superstar Destroyers have a damage modifier for being so big the fighters can actually do a lot of damage to them. So let's put all fighters on them as well. I mean, those TIE Raptors with the Ion Torpedoes can actually... They might actually be able to get through the shields, you never know. Although, that Golem platform... Yeah, you're about to lose your shields. I do have two of them, obviously, but that's probably not going to do enough. And you're actually already getting beaten up by fighters, which isn't great. Yeah, your shield just went down. Okay, we've got to kill Booster. At least we can definitely get one kill out of this. Uh, Wayland is pretty well defended on the ground as well, and I haven't seen any support troops from the New Republic, so we should be okay. Okay, thanks for coming, Booster. Right, let's just... just all we've got to worry about is this now. Probably, I can't even see your shields, but I'm pretty certain they're still up. Space you are doing some de damage there. You are doing some damage. Actually, you might be in range. Can you actually hit that? Yeah, it looks like we can actually get a few shots through from that other golem already. Just got to keep the... Uh, I've lost a gun firing. I mean, every time we hit it, we are removing a few weapons from it. I just don't think it's going to be enough, unfortunately. But we've pretty much we've killed the only thing that's actually worth killing at this point, so... Uh, just make sure all fighters are still engaging this. I'm kind of just ignoring their fighters, which are probably going to be tearing my fighters to shreds, but... There's like a very slim chance we actually manage to take this thing out. We are doing a lot of damage. Every hit reduces its fire power. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, we already lost one golem. Okay. That's not so great. I think you're about to lose your shields as well. I'm still actually not through your shields, which is kind of annoying, considering the amount of damage to you. This thing could actually die with full shields. Like, we could kill it by destroying all the components. It would still have shields, technically, by the end of it. Okay, let's speed up time a bit, because we're basically just waiting for... The high velocity cannon to fire every time. Hyper velocity gun available. Hyper velocity cannon firing. Yes, one, two, three. We're taking out five subsystems every time. Uh, unfortunately, it has a lot more. And my God, there's so many fighters on that station. Okay. I copy. Uh, you guys, I don't know. Do do something. There's not much you can do in this situation, but feel free to do something. Get the ion cannon banks. Yeah, sure. Go for the ion cannon banks. Hyper velocity gun available. I mean, I might be able to convince Wedge to retreat, maybe. I don't know, this is the skill is still going to take like another five or six shots. Our space station is under attack. And the Golan's about to go down. Nowhere to run. I think we could have held this against pretty much anything Falling other than a Superstar Destroyer. Hypervelocity gun available. I mean, we would have we would have destroyed a lot of Star Destroyers or Drop Mon Calamari down. Star Cruisers. But the fact they just got this one big target. Gravity control generator destroyed. Yep, there goes the golden platform. And now all those fighters are going to start heading over here. Reporting in. Which is kind of bad. Maybe if I can keep them off this long enough, I can get a few more shots in. Okay, everyone full back and defend here. Uh, I've lost the ability to drag select. Oh, well. Screw that then. Uh, you guys, Reporting. yeah, just do what you're doing. You bombers, you are doing work. You don't. I mean, maybe f like three more shots. If we can keep that station alive long enough. Ah, there we go. Right, everyone just hunts and destroy fighters around the station. And for some reason, the wedge has stopped moving. Ooh, okay. One, two, three, four. No, wedge is moving again. Damn it. Two more shots, and I think that thing's dead. Uh, the fighters, however... Oh god, the fighters actually might be the problem here. Uh, take out the bombers, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I can take out those forward guns, we might actually be able to do this before those back guns get in range. But I think the fighters are going to finish us off, unfortunately. Whoa, that was actually it. How, what was the health of that station? I can't tell. There's too many fighters! Holy crap, we actually won that. I didn't think that was actually going to work. Man, if uh, I don't know why the Lusenka has just stopped. If the Lusenka just kept moving up, he probably would have got in range. But hey, we lost two Golans, but I'll take that for taking out Wedge Antilles and a Super Star Destroyer any day. Okay. Uh, Wayland probably needs to rebuild some defenses there, so get more Golan platforms. I could maybe build a few ships there just to stop that happening again. I can probably afford a couple of Vindicator Heavy Cruisers or something. Hmm... Maybe. Just need something to slow down the bad guys while 
you know, the high velocity cannons do their work. But okay, we'll think about that another time. For right now, I'm actually going to take a break here uh, before we, I guess, invade Bonadon. We're just going to have to keep Essien blockaded because I can't win that planet for some reason. So we'll blockade Essien and we will try and invade Bonadon next time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Bye.